We dine in the D at a traditional deli that is shaking things up. They are staying up to date on some of the newest food trends, like offering healthy options, gluten-free, and vegetarian options, all while keeping the classics. Found in West Bloomfield off of Orchard Lake Road, Michelle Oliver is taking us to Pickles and Rye. Located in the same spot as a former popular deli, you may recognize some of the friendly faces operating Pickles and Rye. Pickles and Rye was formerly the Deli Unique many years ago. Linda and I worked together hand in hand for many years. We were a SWAT team, if you will. We'd go in and uh, work together in restaurants that needed tweaking. Both of them have worked in the food industry for a long time, but have never owned their own place. I was in Las Vegas, so I was itching to get home. And I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to call my former colleague, Linda Collins, and ask her if she'd be interested in opening a deli in West Bloomfield like we did in our younger days. And she said, you know what? I'd like to try and see what we can do on our own for a change, so I'm in. So they opened Pickles and Rye in 2014. We wanted to see, you know, how can we be different? What can we spin on deli that's any different than all the fine delis that are already here? And one of the things we came up with was doing, you know, fresher foods. When you get toast uh, or a bagel here, you're going to get um, fresh blueberry preserves that we make on site. You're going to get fresh strawberry preserves. They offer deli classics like matzo ball soup, lock keys, and cut to order deli sandwiches. But they're also keeping up with food trends. You can eat good, healthy food in a deli. So, one of the things we do is we cook with as little oil as possible in anything we cook, especially our omelets. And of course, we have our, our uh, salad menu, which is a do it yourself salad menu. And some of our soups are vegan, some are vegetarian. And they listen to their customers, any menu items they request, like the pizza omelet. So it's like pizza and omelet had a baby? Yes. Yeah, you could say that. Okay. Absolutely. So what do we do first? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a little oil in the pan. This is an olive oil, uh, canola oil blend. And to the oil, we add a wild mushroom mix. The shiitake, portobello, oyster, porcini, and of course, your day-to-day -day button mushroom. Then we toss in a handful of broccoli and caramelized onions. So we're going to brown this up a little bit so the vegetables are a little uh, more tender when you eat them. Next, we pour in the egg whites, and once they cook, you have to flip it. So what is the key to flipping an omelet? A lot of times when you're teaching somebody to flip an omelet, they right away try to flip with a wrist. And using a little bit of the wrist helps, but mostly, mostly you're looking at the centrifugal force that you can get from the curve on the edge of the pan. So more circles than it is flicks? Yeah, pretty much. All right, so is it ready? Yep, you do it right, we'll give you an application. Okay. Oh man, you're a natural. And you can go ahead and hit it on top with a marinara. And just like any good pizza man, we spread it around with our ladle. We sprinkle on some low-fat mozzarella cheese to make it look like a pizza. Then, into the broiler it goes. It comes out with the cheese perfectly melted. And it's served with a side of fruit and a bagel with fresh preserves. It is a, um, a very humbling opportunity to work in a neighborhood where you know everybody. Yeah, it means a lot to us. And joining us now live in studio on opening day, thanks for coming down. Thanks for having us. Rick Therian, co-owner and executive chef of Pickles and Rye, and you have brought the the queen mum of all spreads yeah. here. This, I mean, everything, is your whole menu here? Uh, no, you know what, and I went through that whole menu in my head all night, but this is what we ended up with. Look at that spread. Mm -hmm. um, let's work our way from, as long as Kevin's going that way, let's go screen right to okay. left. Uh, what do we have there on the So end? up front right here we have our pastrami burger and it has coleslaw, lettuce, tomato, pickled onions and uh, pastrami obviously and melted Swiss cheese. Brought some of our classics, um, our potato latkes, very popular with sour, sour cream and applesauce. And of course our cheese blintz is served with sour cream and blueberry. If you, go ahead. Sour cream and applesauce. Oh yeah, good. this oh. is good stuff. Uh, up front, is that a Reuben? That is a Reuben. That's our take on a classic Reuben. We've used a marble rye from Star Bakery in Oak Park, and it's accompanied with uh, sweet potato fries and a Chipotle uh, ranch dressing. Very Chipotle. popular. Yeah, good stuff. Up front, you see we have our vegetarian option, uh, which is eggplant uh, lasagna. Sell a lot of that. Next to that is one of our really popular sandwiches, which is a wild mushroom sandwich with melted Swiss cheese on nine grain bread. So that's very popular. And next to it, we have our big three, which is pastrami turkey 
and coleslaw, Swiss cheese, and Russian dressing. And that's with our famous fried pickles. Oh, is that what those are? Yeah, and they are fantastic. And while we're here in the middle, you can see one of our standard deli trays. We sell a lot of these, very popular. And this is what you would get. This tray feeds around 12 people. Okay, and, and just so somebody like watching maybe has a, a party that they're going to throw, and they're, oh, I have 12 people coming over. How much is this? This is uh, $10.99 a person. Okay, excellent. Okay. And then next to it, we have our kale salad with an edamame hummus and our fresh double baked rye bread, which goes with the deli tray. How do you double bake something? Well, it, it comes already baked, and you double bake it for 15 to 20 minutes on 350, and it brings back the crust. How about that? Okay, and then up front you see our gefilte fish appetizer. Right now we're going into the Passover season, so we have many, many uh, Passover options for sale. In addition to that, behind it we have our matzo ball soup, which I'm gonna go out on a limb and says, say it helps cure the common cold, and next to it is our very popular wild mushroom barley. Oh man, does that look good. Good and, stuff. Oh, look out behind you. Yeah. We, uh, okay. Tati has you know. smoothed yeah. her way in here. <laughs> Hello. Hello. So I'm a huge deli food fan. Oh, I man. claimed this side of the table Not before the show even started. <laughs> this is for you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, she left me a loaf of bread. That's all I get. <laughs> Everything else is going to Tati's desk. Um, you were talking about the construction out there, Orchard Lake, Maple, the, the, the whole. Give everybody your exact location and please well, we, come. We are uh, just south of Maple on the west side of Orchard Lake. And um, that's where you can find us. And even though there is construction in the area, we're still very easy to get to. Good stuff. Do you have any specials coming up for over Passover? Just the regular Passover menu that we serve all the time. The gefilte fish, of course, right now will be a lot of fried matzah. So well, if you want to try pickles and rye, we are giving away four $25 yes. gift cards to enter. Go to our Facebook page at four live in the D. And for contest rules, uh, you need to go to Tati's desk because once you're there, <laughs> you'll get the rules and you'll find some leftover food. All this food will be there. there go, go to click on Detroit.com. Thank you so much. Hey, for man, being it's our here. pleasure. Thank you.